Good morning. Let's grab breakfast. I think my father is me. Morning, last. Good morning. Mm. Good morning and welcome to day three on Hikes of Our Lives. We are at Rimche at the moment. If I'm honest, yesterday was probably one of the scariest hikes I've ever done. The landslides were disgusting and there were so many of them. Um, but we've joined the main path now. We're gonna go straight down here and everything's gonna be okay. Everyone's saying like five to six hours to get all the way to Langtang. Like, that surprises me, but we'll go by what everyone's saying because they've been right sometimes so far. Let's set off. I'm still hoping we'll make it to Langtang at some point today once we've finished building small stone towers. It's very nice doing this though. We've just stopped for two seconds because um, Elise is having a big poo. Isn't a she? very big poo. Like a very, very I think big that's poo. going a half hour. I know, we've been sat here for like almost 20 minutes now actually, so. <laughs> yeah, this one must have, she must have eaten something bad last night. Either that or a bear's <laughs> eaten her while she's having a poo. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We'll just have to wait. <laughs> sad to see like the state this place is in but it's still just the most wonderful place I've ever seen like these mountains and this valley I have to keep telling myself I've been walking up the same valley now for three days like ah, oh, it just doesn't compute it's so incredible right let's carry on hey last what are you doing I'm gonna have to speak up I'm making my walking style nice Yeah, yeah. Hey. So nice. Yay, lunch. Yay. Who loves Dal Bat? Dun, 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 dun. Let's try again. Who loves Dal Bat? Dun, 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 dun. We Dal love Dal Bat. Just had lunch. I had two huge helpings of Dal Bat and I feel so much better now. I was really hungry. Everything does get really expensive when you get up here because they have to bring everything in my pony, which is a bit annoying, but you can kind of understand it. We are hoping to change some euros when we get to Langtang which is apparently two hours away. It's weeing it down outside. I really hope the rain stops in the next like half an hour or something. Otherwise we're gonna get really wet. Thank you, Didi. Bye bye. You can really start to feel the altitude now. Oh, it's hard work. Uh, you can just feel your 
having to think about breathing a bit more. So what we're going to do is when we get to Langtang, we're going to climb 300, well 200 meters up from Langtang, drop our bags at Langtang, climb 200 meters up and then come back down and sleep in Langtang because we don't want a really shitty night's sleep. This valley is mind blowing. We were just passed by all those porters as well. Like they're carrying like so much weight and they've shot past us, they're miles away. Oh, I wish I was that fit. They were wearing flip flops. So, under Welcome to New Langtang. It is heartbreaking, and I mean genuinely heartbreaking. Namaste, namaste. It is genuinely heartbreaking to walk through what used to be the village and is now just nothing. It's just rubble. And it's just, namaste. And now they're doing their best to rebuild. There's new hotels going up, there's new buildings going up, and people are sort of, it's really good to see. Namaste. <laughs> New Langtang. Yeah. New Langtang. Where are you from? England? Yeah. England. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So, <coughs> behind me down there, you can see what's being built of New Langtang. This is like everything that was left, and it's nothing. And behind it, this green slope down there, that's the landslide. That was where everything else used to be, and it's totally, totally gone. There's these white flags all about the place. And I asked someone on the way up, and they said that these are like uh, the memorials for the dead. And they're scattered all the way through there, and it's a really somber reminder of just how devastating this was. It was such a contrast to yesterday when we arrived and we were so happy and everything felt wonderful and then you see this devastation and it's heartbreaking, it's really heartbreaking. Despite the damage and despite the devastation and despite all of those things, this is still a wonderful place to come to. I, like, I was a bit unsure about which way to tell the story because I didn't know if I should tell you how, how destroyed everything was or if I should tell you to, that it was open and that definitely come here. <clears throat> the place, Langtang was demolished. There's nothing left of old Langtang. But new Langtang, it's wonderful. Like, it's full of happy smiley people, the views are still just as spectacular, the guest houses are all just about finished being built now, <clears throat> so within this season you're going to be able to come here again and have an amazing stay. And I just think, you've got to come here and please when you come here just like, be generous with your cash, don't haggle on the rooms and don't haggle on the food and do stuff like that. Just give what you can because these people really, really need it. They've got a winter coming up and it's going to be horrible up here. But still, when you're in a place like this, there's not much complaining to be done. Thank <laughs> you.